Hi, Kevin Martin here, uh, reporting in from Riga, Latvia. Riga is the capital of the country of Latvia, which is a member of the Baltic states that include Lithuania and Estonia. Uh, Riga was founded in the year 1201, so it's over 800 years old, and it's a really interesting place um, that has a wide variety of different types of people uh, and beautiful architecture in the old town. Riga is a capital that's faced a lot of transition in its history. Uh, for instance, about a year and a half ago, they switched over to the Euro. Uh, they gained their independence from Russia in 1990, um, after they were occupied since the end of World War II in 1945. And today I'm going to talk about a topic of transition uh, for some students who are interested in moving from one university to another through the transfer process. Sometimes students attend a university and after their freshman or their sophomore year, they make the decision that maybe that university isn't the best place for them or a place like UT Austin has an area of study or a type of research they would be more interested in pursuing. And this type of transfer is called an external transfer. This is different than an internal transfer where a student would change from say business to history or from communications to education. But an external transfer is when a student moves from one university and enters into another. The external transfer process at UT Austin is relatively simple. First of all, the deadline is March 1st, typically during the spring semester of, of your time at your, at your uh, initial university. Um, this is for enrollment for the following fall semester. By that March 1st deadline, uh, you have to submit two required essays. Uh, you also have to submit a required paper resume. So this expanded resume is not required for the first time freshman process, but it is required for all transfer students. Uh, this resume should include information uh, relevant to things that you've done at the college level, and you should only include high school information if it's something that you, that you did truly at an exceptional level, or it's an activity you started in high school and continued on during your time at, at your college or your university. It's also necessary to submit your college transcripts, and eventually you also have to send in your high school transcripts, um, but it's not required by the March 1st deadline. Uh, in fact, UT Austin doesn't look at any of the grades from, from high school. It doesn't look at your SAT or your ACT scores. It only looks at your collegiate GPA uh, for the credits you've earned um, after you've completed uh, your high school education and enrolled into college. Another interesting thing about the transfer process is people often ask me if where you're transferring from makes a difference. Um, for instance, is there a preference given to community colleges over four year universities or public universities over private or out of state versus in state and so on. Um, and in fact, UT doesn't really concern itself with the type of university that you've attended. Uh, in fact, about a third of incoming transfer students come from community colleges, about a third come from other four year universities, and, and yet uh, one third of the other students enroll through the CAP program, uh, which is coordinated admissions where a student can enroll uh, after their senior year of high school into one of the UT system schools and if they maintain a 3.2 GPA, they're guaranteed transfer into UT as a sophomore. Um, just like with the high school first-time freshman process, um, no student who's applying for transfers guaranteed their major. And in fact, some majors are more competitive than others. Um, for instance, the average GPA for all applicants to UT Austin uh, through the external transfer process is about a 3.3. The average admitted student is about a 3.6 but that's going to vary depending on the university or the college or school you're applying to. For instance, the Macomb School of Business hovers around about a 3.85 or a 3.9. Uh, engineering is similarly competitive, whereas liberal arts, the average admin is about a 3.4 or 3.5. If you're interested in enrolling to the School of Architecture, um, that's actually really, really difficult to do. Um, they only accept about one or two external transfers each year, um, and they receive over 100 applicants. Um, in some years, they actually don't accept any. Uh, transfers through the external process because there's a, there's a limited amount of space. Uh, same for computer science. It's not the same level of competition, um, but there's been uh, issues recently with, with you know, too many students and not enough spaces. And so that major is also impacted uh, for students interested in the external transfer process. In terms of advice for what you should be doing when, when planning that external transfer uh, process, it's, it's, it's best, just like whenever you're applying as a high school senior, to start early. You know, if, if it's February of your sophomore year and you're thinking, hey, maybe I want to transfer to UT, that's not really the best way to form an effective application. Especially for majors like engineering or business that require some prerequisite courses um, like calculus uh, or economics in the instance of business or physics uh, when it comes to engineering disciplines. It's really important starting at the beginning of your freshman year that if you have any intention to do a transfer, 
um, that you enroll in the classes that you may need as prerequisites to, to enter into those majors. And it's also important to set that goal early on because you really need to hit at least a 3.5 GPA or higher. So that means making mostly all A's and maybe just a few B's and trying to avoid you know, C's or lower at all costs. Um, because it really is, you know, focusing on the work you've done in college and UT Austin wants to see that you've succeeded at the collegiate level. You know, additionally, just like with the high school senior process, they want to see that you can write well and that you also have a strong resume. Um, letters of recommendation are optional, but they can certainly help your application. Um, and in terms of the timing for release for those admissions decisions, if you have less than 30 hours completed um, by that March 1st deadline, this typically applies uh, to people applying as, as freshmen wanting to transfer as a sophomore, then you have to wait until after you finish your spring semester, you submit your upgraded, up, updated grades, and then UT Austin will have all of your academic information um, to render an admissions decision in, in mid to late May. Whereas if you have more than 30 hours by that March 1st deadline, we're looking at maybe uh, early to mid-April uh, to receive your admissions decision. So that way you can make arrangements for finding you know, housing or, or residence halls or accommodations uh, to help make that transition um, into, your, into your fall enrollment at UT Austin.